pirates have existed since ancient times. The earliest documented pirates were the sea peoples who threatened ships in the Aegean and Mediterranean in the 14th century BC. The Phoenicians, Illyrians, and Tyrrhenians were also known as pirates in classical antiquity. The Vikings were the most far-reaching pirates in early medieval Europe. They traveled by sea from Scandinavia and took control of areas of Europe and beyond. The Golden Age of Piracy, 1690-1730, refers to a period when robbery on the high seas and at colonial ports reached an unprecedented level. Although, not all historians agree on the precise time frame, it is generally applied to those pirates who operated in the Caribbean, the east coast of America, the eastern Atlantic, and the Indian Ocean. Historians believe that piracy started in England due to social disruption. Smaller farmers were forced off the land by ruthless landowners and smaller tradesmen were challenged by larger businesses. These displaced people flocked to urban areas looking for work or poor relief. In London especially there was overcrowding and unemployment and funds for the poor could not meet the need. People had to shift for themselves. Distressed people weren't simply worse off. They had no hope of making a better life. Piracy tempted poor seamen because it offered them the chance to take more control of their lives. In an age when few people traveled and young men might have to work seven-year apprenticeships before they could make an independent living, many were tempted to go to sea anyway, though the life was a tough one. Adolescents who longed to escape could get a job on a sailing ship before they were fully grown. Agility was needed as much as brute strength. Yet ordinary seamen toiled for modest wages and were subject to strict discipline. In contrast, piracy not only offered them a chance to get rich quick but also a rare opportunity to exert a degree of power over others. Thousands of pirates were active from 1650 to 1720. These years are sometimes known as a golden age of piracy. Famous pirates from this period include Blackbeard, Edward Teach, 1680 to 1718 is one of the most infamous pirates to have ever lived. Known for his fearsome image and daring acts on land and sea throughout the West Indies and along the North American East Coast, his legacy has been the inspiration for many depictions of pirates throughout history. Henry Morgan 1635 to 1688 was a Welsh privateer who operated in the Caribbean against the Spanish Empire and then became Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. Morgan was a charismatic and able military leader who masterminded devastating buccaneer attacks on settlements like Portobello, Maracaibo, and Panama on the Spanish Main. Captain William Kidd 1645-1701 was a Scottish privateer turned pirate who, despite only ever capturing one significant prize ship, has become legendary thanks to the persistent rumor he buried a fantastic treasure that nobody has yet found. Pirates lived a life of violence, poverty, and constant danger. Their main source of income was stealing from others, including food, drink, and supplies for sailing. Pirates would target ships, but some would also attack coastal towns. When it comes to what pirates consume to survive in the middle of the ocean, it's far from what you see in fine dining restaurants. Pirates spent long months at sea, so their food supply often diminished quickly. Unlike modern-day ships, they didn't have anything on board that could keep their vegetables fresh and meat frozen. Their food supply often got moldy and rotten. During the Golden Age of Piracy, Tortuga, also known as Turtle Island, is an island off the coast of Hispaniola, that was one of the earliest havens of pirate activity, in the Caribbean, along with Port Royal, on British Jamaica. Tortuga was popular during the buccaneering era, and was inhabited by the group of buccaneers, who were plundering the Spanish main. The first European to spot the island was Christopher Columbus in 1492, when his ships entered the Windward Passage. He noted the shape of the island resembled a turtle, 
and that's where the island's name comes from. Tortuga was a great pirate haven, due to the only natural harbor on the southeast side of the island. It had no reef, and is deep enough that ships of up to 70 guns could enter and leave the harbor. It is protected by reefs that larger ships could not traverse. It was the first inhabited French settlement. At the time and its first governor Jean Levasseur was responsible for supporting buccaneering in order to defend the French settlement. During the buccaneering era, Tortuga was a haven of sin. There were taverns, gambling houses, and prostitutes, and the settlement grew very wealthy from the pirates' activities. In exchange for the protection of the Brethren of the Coast, the island of Tortuga granted them free license to raid and plunder the region. One of the most famous battles during the Age of Piracy was the Battle of Cape Lopez. The Battle of Cape Lopez was fought in early 1722, during the Golden Age of Piracy. A Royal Navy ship of the line under the command of Captain Shaliner Ogle, defeated the pirate ship of Bartholomew Roberts off the coast of Gabon, West Africa. Bartholomew Roberts was killed at the very beginning of the battle during the second broadside unleashed by the ship of the line. Several men were killed or wounded on both sides, and 272 pirates taken prisoner in all. Many were wounded and died in captivity, on their way to the prison of Cape Coast Castle. Fifty-four pirates were hanged for their deeds, and 37 were punished less severely. Of the 272 captured pirates, 65 were former African slaves, that Roberts had emancipated, and they were sold back into slavery. 17 went to Marshalsea Prison in London, and 20 became indentured servants for the Royal African Company. Dozens of pirates escaped punishment, as they were forced into a life with Roberts pirates to begin with. Captain Shaliner Ogle benefited from the battle significantly. Besides being knighted and becoming an admiral, he took off several ounces of gold dust from the ranger and the royal fortune. After defeating Roberts, Captain Ogle intended to sail back and take the little ranger, which was also carrying gold, but she and the merchantman escaped and it is said that Captain Hill received most of the remaining gold. With the death of Black Bart, piracy in the Atlantic Ocean died off and the Golden Age ended, by 1730.